Okay, so this video is definitely going to be probably a quicker one, but um, as I'm sure if you know, know, know me at all, you know by now, but in case you don't, um, I've been playing Overwatch since um, just after Halloween 2016, so it's, it's been a while. Um, but I haven't really been having a whole lot of fun with it since Retribution, which was 2018. Admittedly, like, a lot of it was just because, uh, like, I kept getting teammates that didn't see, didn't know how to play the objective. I would routinely get put on teams where I often felt like I was the only person trying to win. And I just got so frustrated, and that, and because I play on the Asia server, nobody uses voice chat, so there's absolutely zero teamwork. And there are hackers and super obvious smurfs absolutely everywhere. Be good. Be and good. I'm finally sick of it. And a friend of mine told me, you know, hey, I hear you're pretty sick of Overwatch. Try Valorant, I hear it's pretty similar. And it was free to play, so I figured, what the hell. But it's definitely not like Overwatch. It's The better comparison would be Counter-Strike, like specifically CSGO. Because, um, of course, it has, you know, you have to buy all your weapons and... In Valorant's case, you have to buy a bunch of your abilities as if they were weapons, except for, like, each character has one ability that they're guaranteed to have, usually one per round, sometimes two if the round lasts long enough. But I've actually been having a lot of fun on Valorant. <laughs> I knew going in I was going to be terrible. Like, even Overwatch, like, I'm not that great. I peaked mid-plat, and that was well before they introduced Roll Queue, and I, my rank in Overwatch has just gone downhill from there. But... I knew going into Valorant, I was going to be pretty bad, so I just took, you know, I've been taking losses more with a grain of salt, but I've still been having a lot of fun, and actually, like, sure, my first match, I went, like, 2-17, and because I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, but I've actually been able to st start holding my own, like, I've been able to usually still go positive, uh, I actually was able to pull match MVP once, which... I still don't really understand remaining. how that happened. <laughs> I'm not very good, but I've been able. I'm, I'm usually finishing like if, like on the like the team leaderboard. I'm usually like like second or third average, which is pretty good. Like I'm not great, but I'm not terrible. I can hold my own, but I'm not gonna like carry the team, which is a surprise even to me. Maybe my aim is better than I thought. I don't know. In Overwatch, I would usually get stuck playing tank or support, so <laughs> I never, usually didn't really have to worry too much about aim. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, there's really, I would say that Overwatch, Overwatch and Valorant is actually a very poor comparison because it pretty much takes all the mechanics from Counter-Strike, like Having the knife out moves faster. The first round, you can only afford pistols. You have to buy all the guns and your abilities and whatnot. Um, so I would say that you know, really the only Overwatch comparison that's valid is you know, you have abilities that are unique to specific characters, and then each character has an ultimate ability. Some are some I've seen some be, be able to be more useful than others, but that's just my experience so far. I've only got I've only played for. Like a few hours, so one enemy and I'm remaining. Still, I'm still not very good, but I also know that in any game, for that matter, I am never, ever, ever, ever going to be good enough to go pro. <laughs> so I basically just stopped trying. Because <laughs> back in Overwatch, like when I first started getting into Overwatch, was right around where they had just announced Overwatch League, and I thought it would have been really cool to grind my way up and you know be able to get into that. And in hindsight, I'm kind of glad I didn't because. Trying to grind that. I, I had been trying to grind to even just plat for so Fight long, planted. and it was just a complete drain on my mental state. So I'm honestly kind of glad now that I'm finally, you know, letting my stubbornness, you know, be put, put down, and I'm finally putting Overwatch away, because that game has just been nothing but stress for the past, like, year and a half. It has not been fun. It has just been a mess. And now I'm probably going to be jumping ship to Valorant. Not that, you know, me jumping ship to Valorant is that big a deal. I'm not some big name player or big name content creator. But at the same time, I've been talking to some of my other friends and a lot of them are doing the same thing. Because I knew a bunch of, a bunch of, pe of people back in America that uh, play Overwatch. I live in Japan, so I couldn't really play with them because I would have a minimum of like 200, 250 ping. And it would make my game basically just unplayable 
Bucks, but a lot of them were saying that they're, they're not, they haven't been having fun with it in a long time, that it's just been stale. Uh, I mean, you figure the entire meta has pretty much just been wait for the shield tank to fuck up or your team doesn't fail alts as hard as the other team does and hope for the best. That's basically been it for the entire game. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just getting kind of dull. And for, like I said earlier, for me on the Asia server, I have to run into hackers a lot, unfortunately. And unfortunately as well, the Asia server is known for having a high volume of hackers, but Blizzard doesn't really seem to give a shit. Like, they never really seem to do anything about it. And I'm sure there's probably hackers in Valorant by now. The game's been out for a little bit, so I'm sure there's probably somebody that's got hacks, but I haven't seen anybody that is suspicious enough for me to think that they're cheating, but there's also no kill cams in Valorant, so it's a little harder to, you know, verify, because at least in a kill cam you can see if, like, they automatically track to your head, like, through a wall or something, but maybe maybe that's something they'll add later. I don't know. But for now, I'm having way more fun on Valorant because I'm not expected, I'm not expecting myself to try to perform well enough to be able to, you know, grind up the ranks, because for now... There are no ranks in Valorant, and so far the matchmaking has actually been good about putting me against, with and against people of, sure there's some variance in skill level, but for the most part we all, you know, we average to be about the same. You know, like I said earlier, I'm not, you know, I'm not carrying any teams, but I'm still pulling my weight. So, like, I'm, do, I'm doing okay. Maybe someday, you know, maybe I'll be able to do a little better. But for now, I'm just trying to have fun with it because it's kind of the point of video games, is it? Is to have fun. And for me personally, now, you know, Overwatch hasn't been fun, and I've finally found a game that's just as fun as, you know, Overwatch originally was for me. So I'm going to naturally jump ship to that. And yeah. Um, I have a script in this video, and I can't think of anything else I wanted to talk about. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and just end this video here. Uh, see you later.